Game on. Okay, with the GRS Builder Cage, we're constantly striving to improve it. In my last video, I talked about having the GRS Builder Cage working with the Raspberry Pi 4, and we're working on a uh, Raspberry Pi 4 image that would allow you to play games on the internal screen, but also be able to set it to the external display, which is something on our very own box we said we couldn't do. Uh, it was working on the previous Pis. Just want to give you another little update. So we have right here the latest Raspberry Pi 4 build here on the GRS Builder Cage. And I'm going to go up to our options menu. And I'm going to select that. And I'm going to go down to our HDMI screen. And by selecting this, it's going to change some settings on the, uh, the Raspberry Pi build. So it'll work with the external display. And on the last video, the sound wasn't working on the external display. It was still displaying on the internal. But I'm going to select it now. And it's going to do, go through its reboot process. And we should be able to now have the external screen with sound working on the main TV when you're playing your games. Game on. Now, of course, you could be using a wired controller, which I'm using right now, but you could just as well use Bluetooth controllers on here as well. So you see the build a can not only be just a portable machine you could take with you and play on the machine itself, but you can make it your very own home console. You can have it hooked up to your TV set with your regular controllers to play all the games that you want. Okay, when it does boot up, you see you have your regular RetroPie menu here. So not only can you play the GRS build a on the unit itself, it's built the controls and battery and screen, but you can now make this your very own console. So this could be your main console, have all your games installed here on your Raspberry Pi build, and use an external controller, what you're using right now via a USB wired connection. But you can use, use uh, Bluetooth as well, like an Xbox controller or something along those lines. But the point is, you can have a portable machine or display on your full size television set and have a really cool Raspberry Pi case as well. So we'll go in here and I'll pull up um, the game we include here. I have lots of games installed here, obviously. But if I go down to the A's, we have the Adventures of Rivalry Roto, which we have right here. And you can see the speakers are working through the television set. So I'll put in a coin. And start the game. All using external controls and the large screen television. And of course, when you're done playing the game this way, if you want to take it on the go, like you would do with, say, a Nintendo Switch, then you exit your game. And we'll go back to the RetroPie menu. A little too far. And we'll set it back to the internal of the screen, right here. Select that. And it will once again come into our internal display. Game on. Okay, we'll go back to the arcade classics. Go back to the adventures of Robbie Roto.
Okay, so now we're on the internal display and the sound on the internal display. Even though I'm still using external controllers, I can still play it on the internal screen without the external HDMI monitor. So I'm going to go into the game. And I put a coin in. And as you can see, I can play on the internal screen but with external controllers. I am trapped. <laughs> well, maybe not. And that's it for this video. We still have a couple things we need to fix still in the build, but as you can see right now, it's very playable. You can play it on the internal screen with the internal controls or internal screen with external controls. Bluetooth or wired, or external HDMI full screen with the internal controls or external controls. But that's it for today's video. I just want to keep you guys up to date on the progress on the GRS Buildicate and software and everything else we're doing on it. So if you did like the video, please like, share, subscribe. Definitely tell your friends. The GRS Buildicate is available right now for $99.95. Just have to add a Raspberry Pi 1, 2, 3, or 4. Um, and you can start playing all the games that you love and customize the machine. As you can see, other people have customized the machine already. And that's it for today's video. Remember to tell your family and friends that you love them. And remember, game on.